So has the journey been worth it? Has, was this the right way to bring about change around people issues? I really believe that it has been very beneficial for the organisation. Um, I think it has really made us look at the way we do things. Um, and sometimes managers can hide behind the fact that they're very busy doing their day job. But it makes you stand outside of that and actually share what, you, what you're doing or what you're hoping for the organisation with, with the staff, you know. Um, it makes you more accountable as a manager because people have certain expectations of you because we have an agreement in place as to what people should expect from their managers and also what managers can expect from staff. Um, I th think it's really helped us to look at um, putting a, a solid strategy in place then turning that into an annual business plan, which is then shared with staff. Staff are asked to input into that. So it's kind of it's a it's a top down and bottom up process. So everybody is involved in that. Um, people can clearly see um, you know when things are supposed to be achieved by, who's responsible for achieving them. Um, so I think it gives a lot a lot more accountability within the organisation. Um, Investing in people itself is actually quite easy to work with because although it tells you what you should be achieving, it's non-prescriptive, so it doesn't tell you that this is the only way you can do it. So there's a lot of flexibility, so it can really suit the organisation and, and the resources of the organisation. Um, I think all in all it has helped us to really understand what it is that makes a good organisation. Our, our, our employee engagement is very high, and we consistently score well into the eight, high 80s, sometimes 90% um, in terms of employee engagement. Um, staff feel involved. Um, they feel that if they have something to contribute, they can just come forward with an idea and it will be listened to. Um, and I, I really think that staff are happy, happier for it, really. So, yes, I really do think it has been beneficial in that respect. And Investors in People is an external accreditation. Does the external aspect add something? Um, I, I believe it does. I mean, certainly from my point of view, um, working in HR, I think that it can certainly be um, something that attracts candidates to the organisation because we, are, we genuinely do offer people sound training development when they come here. Um, I think International House is renowned anyway for being um, you know, a training organisation insofar as it delivers training but the fact that we actually give it to our staff and that we really focus on that I think is a very positive selling point when you're trying to attract people. So I, I, I think in that does make it um, more attractive. I mean there, there are a lot of um, external um, accrediting organisations that we, that we actually um, have to receive accreditation from, um, but this is different because it looks at a different aspect of the business. It's not just whether we um, the delivery of our general English is up to a, a certain standard or delivery of business English or modern languages. This is really about how we treat our people um, and that we make a commitment to do that, that it's something that's important to us and therefore we're willing to have somebody come in from outside and tell us whether we're doing it right or not.